Alright guys, this is a 6 inch tat tongue clip fan. I got this from my favorite flea market for $6. I figured why not. It's in a very interesting color. It's like a cream with a hint of pink. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's really cool. It was a bit dusty when I got it, but it cleaned up very well, and I'm very happy for that. Upon using it for the first time, I noticed that this wasn't one of those regular, you know, new Walmart clip fans. No, this one actually has a very powerful motor in it, that's for sure. And it doesn't really look much different than the new ones, but definitely it's a lot more powerful. I'm not a big fan of these, I want to call them phone line cords because they kind of make it hard to use because this will sometimes come out of the wall. I don't know why, but it seems like when it's coiled up like this, it has a greater chance of coming out of the wall. I don't know, maybe it's my experience, but I just feel like this is kind of annoying. I'd rather just have a regular long cord than having this bungee cord. But it's all right. And there was a few other fans there too. There was this, there was a Galaxy 3733, a Liquid Brace Blade, a Edison Thin and Light. I believe that was a Thin and Light, but I figured now with thin box fans, I kind of just don't have any room for them and I couldn't really convince my parents, so I figured okay. There was a Climate Keeper electronically controlled pedestal fan, which now. <laughs> Uh, there was this, and there was a Massey box fan, those little 6-inch personal fans that they say are box fans, which was really seized up. Just decided not to get it, and I went with this, and I'm kind of happy I did. So, we'll start off on the low first. All right, here's high. Position it down like this for really high. And you know, you can adjust it. Or you can do this, which I thought was kind of cool. So you can really customize it. Alright, and that is the Tat Tongue 6 inch clip fan. Thank you for watching.